Hi again guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, Someone I always get asked about at the various events and shows that I go to is how do you guys balance so well on those crazy obstacles? So today I thought I'd make a little video, I'll give you some hints and tips on how to improve your balancing and general bike control skills and then progress on how the tracks stand. Let's give it a try. So the skills I'm going to teach you today can be applied to any kind of riding, whether it's trials, mountain biking or road cycling. Um, and they can help you out when you want to ride fast or slow as they're about kind of general bike handling skills. Um, you don't need any equipment, you don't need a large area or anything. See, like me, I'm just doing it in the back garden. Um, and they're good skills to practice. Like each year you need to take five, ten minutes out of your day to practice these skills and you'll see a good progression as you go along. So something important to be aware of when you're riding that will really help you balance the bike control is body and bike positioning and trying to keep everything as even as possible. So when you're riding, you want your feet to be nice and level, your hands to be nice and level, and everything to be in a straight line as possible. Uh, a good way to help with this is to imagine a line going down your body onto your bike, and you're trying to keep that line up as, for as long as possible. And the best way to keep that line nice and straight is making fine adjustments. Uh, a problem a lot of people have is when they start going off balance, they start making really extreme movements trying to correct themselves uh, and that just doesn't help at all. It's all about fine tuning it. So as you're riding along, you start leaning one way, just put a little bit of pressure on the opposite hand and that will just gently correct it. So it's not a sudden sharp movement, it's a gentle moving side to side if you want to correct your bike. Uh, but if you want to correct your body positioning, again it's fine tuning it. So it's just a little bit of a lean side to side and when you're happy with this then you can start using your legs a bit more uh, you can use them as a bit of a counterbalance so moving your legs out and side to side but again it's always fine tuning it and little adjustments so another really common problem that can really affect your balance that I see a lot of especially when people are riding slow or learning a new skill uh, they tend to look down and they stare at their front tyre um, this puts you in a really bad body position it also means you can't actually prepare for what's coming up. So as you're riding along, you're going to be looking right ahead of you, about a foot or two in front of the tyre, and this kind of helps you ride in a more neutral position, and also helps you prepare for what's coming up. Your body will naturally kind of adjust itself, and you can uh, prepare the best route to take. Okay, another thing that's really important to focus on is pedal positioning, as this will make sure that your weight spread evenly across your bike. So ideally, you want your feet to be pretty much level with your leading foot slightly higher, but only by a few centimetres, as this will allow you to put a bit more pressure down when you need to accelerate or get out of corners. So this is all stuff you can practice at home. Just take a bit of time out of your day, maybe say 10 minutes or so, just to fine tune things. Um, if you do this with a friend, you can get them to ha uh, put their hands on the handlebars in front of you and get them to start leaning the bike side to side and you can practice counteracting that and try and remember to keep it nice and steady. Uh, another thing you can do is practice it uh, up against the wall which is what I'm going to show you now. Okay so a really good way to practice those techniques is by using the wall. So what you want to do is put your foot up against the wall, apply a bit of pressure on your pedal and stand up and it's force you into the wall. And all you're going to do is practice those techniques we've been learning. So remember, pedal is nice and level. We're looking ahead and we're making those fine adjustments with our hands. So side to side. And just remember to look ahead, stay relaxed. And once you're happy with this, just get used to maybe sitting down, standing up, and just looking around to so get used to making those constant adjustments all the time. So once you're happy with these techniques standing still, the next stage is to try them when you're riding. A good way to practice this is, is to make a nice straight line, and what you're going to do is you're going to ride along at a walking pace, and then try and go as slow as you can when you hit the middle of it, and continue riding off again. Remembering those same techniques, so looking ahead, keeping your hands and your feet nice and level, and keeping everything nice and relaxed. Uh, following on from this, is when you get to that centre point, try and come to a complete stop. The exact same things apply, body positioning, nice and level, looking ahead 
and just continue riding afterwards. So you can even progress on from that by adding some turns into the mix. So maybe even turn into that middle point, stop and carry on, or ride into the middle, stop and look at turning. Of course your body's going to be leaning more on one side as you turn, but the same similar principles apply. You're going to be trying to keep your body and your bike as central as possible, looking ahead at all times, keeping your body position nice and neutral across the bike, not leaning too far forward or too far back. Oops, there we go, so a few hints and tips there for you. Um, these can be applied to any kind of riding on any kind of bike. Same process apply. So remember just keeping your body weight and your body position nice and even and not making any drastic changes. Next up we're going to have a look at track standing. This is a trial rider's kind of party piece. We always like to show off for this. But again, it's a simple progression, but you need to master those skills first. Okay, so the track stand is just a continuation of the skills we learned before. Keeping the body nice and even, pedal level, hands level, looking ahead and remembering our straight line. So my front wheel is turned, not quite 90 degrees, but comfortable enough for me to roll back forward. And all we're going to do is go from one side of our square, push down on the pedal, to the other side, apply the brake, then let go of the brake and pull gently backwards. Just remember it, it's all about fine adjustment. So all it is is rocking backwards and forwards. Again, looking ahead, making sure it's a nice even position on the bike. And once you get used to this, you can then practice taking one hand off, or you taking one foot off, or doing both at the same time. So I'm able to do that because my body's in a neutral position, there's no unnecessary weight either side, it's all gentle movement. Okay, hope you all enjoyed the video. We've picked up some new little tricks and tips to help you be riding. Uh, share this with any of your friends or family who might need a bit of help with their bike skills. If there's any more advice you need or there's any more videos you want me to do, then just hit subscribe, comment below, yeah, and let me know what you think. Yeah, keep practicing and keep enjoying your riding. See you later.